and dreams But that was such a long time ago Maybe we've grown apart Maybe Hello once again, my name is Amobala Steven and welcome to Live Wallet by Amobala Steven on the talk show. I talk about life relationships on the business side of life and so I'm happy that I'm going to be talking the talk show today on about seeing the bigger picture in your relationships as a man, as a woman. Now you want to catch up with me's episode of my talk show. Why not sit back, relax and search online for Live Wallet. Lift. My mobile is TV now you go on any distribution platforms. Have a worthwhile listening experience on the go. We were from the start But I remember those days With joy in my heart It's all that behind us now Now all that I have Now, I'm alive on a relationship offline. I've been doing it for a while now. I love to inspire changing people and this is my cur and my inner drive and so I love to do this with you. Now you can take my hand, let's walk this path together and I promise you, guarantee you, a worthwhile experience while we do this. I'm not going to hurt you anyway. Not at all. I'm not going to hurt you. Stick around. Maybe that is for the best Cause you're not the same as you used to be And maybe we've grown apart Maybe we weren't meant to be right from the start But I remember those days with joy in Gentlemen, you are listening to Life Well Lived by Amabila Stephen. It's an engaging and enlightening talk show on life, relationships, and the business of life. Grab a cup of juice and just chill. Life Well Lived by Amabila Stephen. Live life. Live fully. Now, let's talk a bit about marriage because I really realized that this is where the real challenge is as a wife, as a mother. Now, being married doesn't mean you're going to remain a full wifey or modeling. I need you to get the fact. No, marriage should be more than that. Marriage is not about being selfish. It's about complimenting. This is what a real relationship or marriage should be about. Looking for ways that you're going to pump your wifey up in order for her to be who she doesn't to be. Now, I'm talking to the man now. As a man, you need to see beyond the man or your woman's looks or her demeanors. Now, I'm not saying that her looks or her demeanors or character isn't important. It is important. But when we talk about purpose, when we're talking about finding identity in relationships, in life, we need to see beyond the looks and the character of our people. We need to be able to see inwardly. Now, as a man, how are you saying? What are you saying in your wifey? How about her passions, her gifts and skill set? What makes her truly happy? What does she love to do? What's her drive? What's a yearning? What's a capability? What's a proficiency? What's a talent? What can you see as a man? What can you see as a man? Now that's the big question, but absolutely important. Now, I need you to see that relationships can truly really last if it's mutual and cohesive, if it's symbolic and unconditional, if it's uninhibited and each one is destined or each one is allowed to be themselves. Now, you need to underline that. You need to allow your partner to be who they're meant to be, to be themselves. There need to be real people in relationships and in the marriage. Now, in my seminars, I have attended to women from divas, ethnic groups and races, but they share common issues. Now, the common issue is finding one's true identity in life and fulfilling the important or fulfilling purpose. Now, that's absolutely important. You agree with me? 
Most of us as women walk into a relationship with high hopes and expectations. Now, this is where the problem begins. A. It's not bad at all to have hopes and expectations, but I've come to realize in my eight years of coaching that raising too much expectations in your relationship isn't healthy at all. You need to lower your expectations. I mean, you just go ahead to program your brain to actually be expecting. Each day, you expect your man to do this. You expect your woman to do this. You expect your children to do this. I mean, you are the lady with the rules. You are the man with the rules. Men, people are going to get sick. They're going to get tired of you. I tell you, they will begin to resent you. And you don't want that at all. Now, let's move on. I want you to understand that people are going to disappoint you when you keep raising expectations in time because they aren't perfect at all. And too much expectations from people can actually sabotage your own true power and self-independence. How about that? That's absolutely important also for you to understand. Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to Life Well Lived by Amabila Stephen. It's an engaging and enlightening talk show on life, relationships, and the business of life. Grab a cup of juice and just chill. Life Well Lived by Amabila Stephen. Live life. Live fully. Now, as a woman, for you to serve the good side of your husband or your partner, I need you to quit expecting. I need you to quit expecting. Quit expectations. Just lower it. Walk into your relationship with an open mind. With sincerity, accept your partner for who or she is and love unconditionally. I tell you, by this, you can see the best of time. You can truly see that. Just tried it out. Now, to the man out there, I need you to listen to me. Find a private time for your galley, or wifey. She needs a private time with you. Ask her what she truly wants in life. I am telling you this. She has so many things up in her mind. She has so many things she wants to share with the world. She just needs a listening hair. She needs an attention. She needs a support. And you can do that. Create time for her. Give her time to extricate a paint of feelings. Now I need you to be emphatic in this period. You need to be emphatic. Listen more. Now, when you're done, don't make a promise. Don't go making a promise yet. Give yourself some time to think about how you can support her, either morally or financially. I'm sure you can be able to do one out of the two, or you can do the two. Who knows? You have the power. What do you think? And to the ladies out there, don't go hating your man because he isn't seeing the real you. Don't go doing that at all. Don't be resentive or resentful towards your partner. Even though he or she is not treating you or giving you the support that you need in life, you don't need to resent them. You need to look in words. Did you understand? Look in words. Perhaps just have an open communication about it. And if there's no positive outcome in your open relationships or open communication with your partner, just sit back, relax, look in words. Do a thorough self-examination and see what you truly love and passionate about. Go ahead, check online for answers that you need. Perhaps go ahead, call, send a mail, reach out to people, reach out to companies or organizations, to individuals who can mentor you, who can support or assist you in your journey. Perhaps you can also join a group or network that talk or discusses about your passion, about what you truly care for. Learn something, pick on an idea and run with it. I want you to understand it's not a must that your husband has to support you. Don't make it a must. And even as a man, don't make it a must that your woman has to support you. You you have the power within yourself to support yourself. You need the power or you have the power to create the life that you want. It's your power. You can do all things. Absolutely. So, in all of this, while you teach, I want you to know that you must not give up because there's always the tendency because you want to give up because the road is always so lonely. I tell you that it's always so lonely. I'm not going to promise you it's going to be wah wah, but you can feel so lonely when you don't have anybody supporting you. But trust good and the help of the Holy Spirit to guide you to. At the end of the day, you will come to love yourself and appreciate those who screwed you or even disappoint you. You're going to love them because at the end of the day, you come to see the bigger picture. You come to understand what life is true about. You come to appreciate them for disappointing you. That is it. 
You are not created to depend on people. You are created to depend on God because God has all the answers, all the solutions that you need in life. So I need you to be strong today. I need you to be strong tomorrow and always. So with all my love today, I'm sending my best wishes to you today and always. It's a mobile seven. Sign peace out. It's bye for now. So hit me up, you know it's all I'm waiting for. Oh, would you hit me up? I've been waiting my whole life. Oh, for you to hit me up, I've never felt this way. I wanna turn back time, send me some heartbreak. 